Welcome to the untamed frontier, where justice is swift, and the draw is even quicker. Today, we're saddling up for a journey through the dusty trails of Gunslinger, a classic Western TV series that had us on the edge of our seats back in the day. Gunslinger is an American Western television series that aired for one season from 1961 to 1962. Gunslinger follows Cord's adventures as he travels from town to town, often becoming involved in local disputes and conflicts. The series was a traditional Western, featuring the common themes of the genre, including gunfights, moral dilemmas, and the rugged landscapes of the frontier. We all remember the mysterious wanderer, Cord, played by the iconic Tony Young. But what about the other faces that graced the small screen in this Old West adventure? Where are they now? Join us as we embark on a, then and now, expedition, revisiting the actors who brought the dusty tales of, Gunslinger, to life. Tony Young. The Maverick of the Old West, Cord in, Gunslinger. Born on June 28, 1937, in New York City, Tony Young was destined to become the epitome of the enigmatic cowboy. His portrayal of Cord in Gunslinger showcased his talent for bringing depth and mystery to the iconic wanderer. Career Tony Young's journey through Hollywood was a tapestry of rugged landscapes and timeless tales. From his early appearances in TV shows like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, to his leading role in Gunslinger, Young's onscreen charisma and authentic portrayal of Cord made him a beloved figure among Western enthusiasts. Most successful roles while Tony Young had a diverse career in television and film, it was his portrayal of Cord that left an enduring legacy. Most prestigious awards. Tony Young's contributions to the entertainment industry might not have been adorned with major awards, but his legacy is measured by the connection he forged with audiences. Curtain Call. On February 26, 2002, Tony Young took his final bow. Preston Foster. The Resolute Mr. Sands, Gunslingers. Born on August 24, 1900, in Ocean City, New Jersey, Preston Foster emerged as a stalwart figure in the world of entertainment. His role as Mr. Sands in Gunslinger showcased his versatility and added a layer of resoluteness to the series. Career Preston Foster's journey through the entertainment industry spanned decades and encompassed various mediums. From his beginnings on Broadway to his transition to film and television, Foster's commanding presence and strong characterization set him apart. His appearances in several episodes of Gunslinger added depth to the show's ensemble. Most successful roles. While Preston Foster had a prolific career with numerous successful roles, his portrayal of Mr. Sands in Gunslinger stands out. Most prestigious awards. Preston Foster's contributions earned him respect within the industry, but major awards might have eluded him. Curtain Call. On July 14, 1970, Preston Foster took his final bow. Mary Anders. The endearing Dolly, a bright star in Gunslinger. Born on May 22, 1934, in Chicago, Illinois, Mary Anders radiated warmth and charm throughout her career. Her appearances as Dolly in several episodes of Gunslinger showcased her versatility and endeared her to audiences. Career. Mary Anders' journey through Hollywood was marked by a myriad of roles in film and television. Her ability to portray characters with a mix of grace and strength made her a sought-after actress. In Gunslinger, her role as Dolly added a touch of elegance to the rugged landscape. Most successful roles. While Mary Anders had a diverse career, her portrayal of Dolly in Gunslinger resonated with audiences. The character, with its blend of resilience and charm, showcased Anders' ability to bring depth to her roles. Most prestigious awards. Mary Anders' contributions might not have led to major awards, but her legacy is measured by the impact she had on the projects she undertook. Curtain Call. On October 28, 2012, Mary Anders took her final bow. Jack Albertson. The stalwart Jason. Born on June 16, 1907, in Malden, Massachusetts, Jack Albertson emerged as a versatile force in the world of entertainment. His portrayal of Jason in several episodes of Gunslinger showcased his ability to seamlessly blend comedy and drama. Career Jack Albertson's journey through the entertainment industry was a journey of laughter and tears. From vaudeville stages to the silver screen, Albertson's career spanned decades and encompassed various mediums. His appearances in several episodes of Gunslinger added a touch of humor and warmth to the rugged tales of the Old West. Most successful roles. 
While Jack Albertson had a career filled with notable roles, his portrayal of Jason in Gunslinger showcased his ability to connect with audiences. The character, with its mix of wit and wisdom, became a fan favorite and added a layer of humanity to the Western series. Most prestigious awards. Jack Albertson's contributions to the entertainment industry were recognized with several accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Subject Was Roses, 1968. Curtain Call. On November 25, 1981, Jack Albertson took his final bow. Myron Healy. The Steadfast Mason. Born on June 8, 1923, in Petaluma, California, Myron Healy became a stalwart figure in the realm of westerns. His portrayal of Mason in several episodes of Gunslinger showcased his rugged charm and solidified his place as a Western icon. Career. Myron Healy's journey through Hollywood was etched against the backdrop of dusty trails and sprawling landscapes. From his early days as a cowboy star to his later appearances in television and film, Healy's career was synonymous with the Western genre. His role as Mason in Gunslinger added another chapter to his storied career. Most successful roles. While Myron Healy had a prolific career in westerns, his portrayal of Mason resonated with fans. The character, a steadfast presence in the tumultuous world of Gunslinger, showcased Healy's ability to embody the archetypal cowboy with authenticity and charisma. Most prestigious awards. Myron Healy's contributions might not have led to major awards, but his legacy is measured by the impact he had on the western genre. Curtain Call. On December 21, 2005, Myron Healy took his final bow. Robert Lowry. The wise Judge Thompson. Born on October 17, 1913, in Kansas City, Missouri, Robert Lowry emerged as a beacon of justice in the world of entertainment. His role as Judge Thompson in Gunslinger showcased his authoritative presence and added a layer of wisdom to the series. Career. Robert Lowry's journey through Hollywood was characterized by roles that exuded authority and gravitas. From his early film career to his later appearances in television, Lowry's commanding performances made him a sought-after actor. His portrayal of Judge Thompson in Gunslinger added a sense of justice to the tumultuous Old West. Most successful roles. While Robert Lowry had a diverse career, his role as Judge Thompson stood out. The character, with its unwavering commitment to justice, showcased Lowry's ability to bring a moral compass to the narratives of Gunslinger. Most prestigious awards. Robert Lowry's contributions earned him respect within the industry, though major awards might have eluded him. Curtain Call. On December 26, 1971, Robert Lowry took his final bow. And there you have it, a journey through the lives and careers of Jack Albertson, Myron Healy, and Robert Lowry, the stalwart figures who added depth to the world of Gunslinger. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you, our cherished viewers, to join the conversation. If the stories of Jason, Mason, and Judge Thompson resonated with you, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more glimpses into the golden era of westerns. But our journey doesn't end here. We want to hear from you.